Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So, Mother's Day is coming up and I wanted to make a gift for her. But first, I need to get this snow out of the way so I can get in the garage. I hope she appreciates the lengths I'm going to. Now, I've got some of this hardwood that I got years ago. It used to be in the cellar of a pub and had barrels of beer sat on it. I've used it a few times before and I can't remember what it is, but I'm sure a few of you will tell me down below. First job, I get it cut down into roughly the sizes I need, just using the handsaw. And then I'm going to resaw it on the big old bandsaw. So I mark out what's roughly the center line and draw that all along the piece. Now I can get it cut on the old saw. Now I'm not going to set up a fence, I'm just going to freehand it and follow that line I've drawn. With all the bits resawn, then I can go back into the workshop where it's nice and warm. To clean up all those saw marks and bring the pieces down to the same thickness, I run them all through the thicknesser. Now two surfaces are nice, but the edges need sorting out. So I just swap out the blade in the table saw to a rip blade, and then I can run all the pieces through, trimming the edges. I want to further resaw another piece of this wood, but rather than go back out into the cold to do it on the old band saw, as I've got the rip blade in, I'm going to do it on the table saw. Doing it this way just takes a bit longer, and I have to make several passes going from either side, raising the blade each time until I'm all the way through. I want to get these two pieces glued up into a panel, so I need very straight edges to do that. So I'm just going to clean up the sides with a hand plane. I can now get some glue applied to the edge, the piece is put together, and then I can use my panel clamps to hold them flat and use some parallel clamps to pull the joint nice and tight. While the glue's drying, I can get the other components cut using the mitre gauge and the table saw. So, I don't think I said, but I'm sure you got it from the thumbnail. This is going to be a bath tray. So it needs cutouts at either end so it can hook over the side of the bath. I mark out the thickness of the wood, leave that at the top, and then draw a curve on the bottom. This is a template I have for something else. I can then take the pieces over to the bandsaw and get that curve cut out. Then I can use the spindle sander to clean up all the saw marks. The glue's now cured on this panel, so I can get all the clamps taken off. Then I just run it through the thicknesser to give it a quick clean up. The panel needs to sit between these two sides, so I can just mark out how long it needs to be, then I can take it over to the table saw and get it cut to length. I've looked at ideas for bath trays, and a lot have slats in the bottom, but I wanted a more solid base so you could put a wine glass or a mug on it, but it is going to need some drainage holes. So I mark out a grid and then using a 15mm Forstner bit, I drill through. To 
be able to attach this panel to the sides, I want to put a groove in the sides. So I swap out my grooving blade. There'll be a link to this down below with a lot of the other tools that I use. This is a 5mm blade and I get a groove cut on both sides and test out the fit, but it's a bit tight. So I nudge the fence over and make one more pass. Now this is going to need a couple of pieces at each end to join it together. But first I have a little dry fit and then I can measure the span to work out how big those pieces need to be. And then I can go back over to the table saw and get them cut. To join them together I'm going to use my Triton Dowling machine any dowel jig would work, or even some screws and a plug cutting bit would work well. These are 8mm holes I'm drilling, and I'm using 40mm long dowels. Before I get it put together, I'm just going to drill a large hole in each of those end bits, and this is going to receive a little holder for a tea light. I give all the components a quick sand down, going up to 120 grit, and then I can start getting it all put together. I get some waterproof PVA wood glue put into the holes, spread out, and then the dowels tapped into place. Then all the components can be put together and clamped up and left to dry. When the glue's gone off, I can give it all the sand down and then it's time for finish. And I'm going to go with some tongue oil. It gets three coats in all. The first two coats are thinned down a bit and then the final one is just tongue oil. The last job is to just get those tea light holders put in place and that's it all finished. Now it's ready for a nice relaxing bath. So I guess the only thing to do now is for me to test it out. So that's it all done. Now I've just got to test it out. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons. Please subscribe for more videos. And if you don't mind, I could use some privacy now. <laughs>